Hey guys, uh, back again. Um, this is a review of the, well not a review, but it's basically a, a video to show you the setup I have in my Tech LC, Vito Pro Pack Tech LC bag. Uh, this is my favourite bag and I have it set up for uh, electrical. Yeah, just a quick bit of background. Uh, I own rental properties, uh, so I do a lot of work on my own properties. Uh, I do renovations, I do refurbishments, um, and I, I do small maintenance type work for for private clients. Um, if you read my about page or take the time to read my about page, you'll 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 see what I'm all about. Uh, but anyway, we'll get back to this quick overview of the bag. This side, uh, Nipex scissors. These are a slightly different version to what I have in other bags. Uh, they basically got a, a crimping uh, part to them there. We've got the Hansen stud finder. It's basically a magnetic uh, stud finder. You just rub it over the wall. It, it finds the drywall screws or the plasterboard screws and sticks. So you can eventually get a line uh, where it's stuck and then you can identify where the stud is. The fluke voltage tester. Um, these are good. Just basically indicating if there's voltage present. They obviously don't uh, tell you if the line's uh, totally dead, but they give you a good indication. Again, Stanley Fat Max 5 meter tape, auto locking, metric only. Uh, these are the tapes I use in my bags. Again, the Nebo Low Larry uh, light. Magnetic base so you can stick it anywhere. Uh, side of the bag, I uh, have the DeWalt utility knife. I normally use the Stanley Fat Max but it doesn't fit in this pocket in the Tech LC. So it's just an excuse to go and buy another tool to be honest. But um, I actually quite like this, it's quite a good quite a good knife. Uh, opens up, store the blades in there. Uh, it's got a handy little cutter there where you can just pull string through this slot here and it cuts, cuts without having to expose the blade. Uh, it's a good knife actually. It fits neatly in there. Tape loop with tapes. The Sharpies as always. Pike a pencil as always. Um, I've said before in my other videos I'll, I'll do a review on that. Uh, the one, one loose bag that I do carry in this is... Basically carries there's some TV connectors there. Um, satellite type connectors, F connectors I believe is the correct name. We have earth sleeving and basically a pouch full of, you know, just a general Wigo connectors. I think these are the 221s. Everybody's probably seen these before. Stuck the wire in, just clip them. They're, they're good. All these different types for flex, going to the solid wire, you know, lighting circuits and stuff like that. That's that. <clears throat> okay, so final side of the bag. Uh, I've got another torch here. It's an LED lenser. That's just a nice slim torch. Um, it gives you a nice focused beam as opposed to the the big LED light here. Uh, but one of these daft uh, sucker things that you know that you take the the GU10 bulbs out of spotlight. Sometimes we've got a big pest to get them out and. These are good, just stick them on and twist them and out. I find it handy anyway. Front pocket, not too much in here. There's Stanley blades. This little Stanley scraping tool. I've got these in a few of my bags. Um, I don't know why I've got it in this particular bag, but they, they always seem to find a use for it. Uh, what else? Uh, just, yeah, more spare blades for this. Some, uh, Posi two bits in there and here. Uh, it's a bag of fuse, mix fuses, five amp, three amp, ten amp, fifteen. You never know when you need fuses. Right, back to the front side of the bag. Excuse the mess, but um, it's fairly well packed. I'll just quickly go through what I have in here. Um, 
So these little mallets, I carry these in most of my bags as well. Uh, plastic one end, rubber the other end. I just could be used for anything actually. Uh, just a really handy to have. Small hammer, cut down to size, to fit in the bag. It's usually used for, uh, you know, plugs. Uh, plugs into masonry or, or uh, drywall. Uh, Nipex pliers, all insulated. Uh, we've got um, what are these? I think these are actually Draper side cutters. The reason I got these ones, or I got these a while ago, is because I've got the, the three and a half uh, mil hole, you know, for the screws that go into your dry lining boxes. Um, so stick it through through there, squeeze it together, and it cuts it. Um, Weed Allen keys. These are the full size versions. Um, this is, you've probably seen. I've got these in my other bags as well. Yeah, and they're, they're really good. They are quite heavy, you know. This this big set is fairly heavy, uh, but they're good for for leverage when you need it. Same again. These are Torx, just small Torx screwdrivers. Uh, not screwdriver, sorry. <laughs> Torx keys. Uh, by Weeder. Always handy. Uh, a lot of fittings these days, especially outside lights, things like that, I've got Torx, uh, Torx heads on them. Snap-on pick. Uh, just always handy to have a pick in your bag. This is a 3.5mm tap. You know when you're screwing a faceplate onto a socket and the screw just will not go in, it starts squeaking horrendously. It dies, I just take them out. You just run this tap through the hole. Yeah, like so back four, back four until it frees up. Take it out and it's re-threaded. Then you can screw the the faceplate in. Good. This is a great tool. Old Stabila level. Um, it's seen better days to be honest. But all I use that as far as leveling off uh, dry lining boxes or faceplates or TVs, whatever. Basically used for any metal back boxes. Um, you have the cutouts at the back just file any rough edges off. Even the plastic dry lining boxes, you can file some of the plastic away if need be. Uh, Nipex long nose pliers. Yeah. Okay, this is my beater screwdriver, as you call it. Um, basically used for anything. Anything needs to be, you know, hammered, smashed, pried. Uh, this is the one. Uh, that's good. It's more stubby. A uh, couple of pry bars. Uh, this is a roughneck pry bar. It's quite small, but it's good for floorboards if you know where you need to get floorboards up. Stanley pry bar. I showed this in my other video in my maintenance bag. I've got one of them in there as well. Good for pulling out nails, you know, door trims. Uh, it's floorboards primarily it's used for in this bag, along with this. Uh, old adjustable spanner. Another set of the Nipex uh, pliers wrench. These are the one eighties. It's I found these are the best size to be honest. Even plumbing, maintenance, electrical, whatever I need, one eighty seem to do the job. Um, they're great. Uh, Stanley wire strippers, automatic wire strippers. Uh, I carry a set in my maintenance bag as well. Um, these are just what I'm used to. I've used them for years. They're, they're good. Marksman, grip it marksman. I won't even speak about that again if you've watched my other videos. I use them all the time. In the hole, hit the end and it gives a puff of chalk. Um, and marks through deep, you know, deep, deep material, thick material. Full set of Weera insulated screwdrivers. Um, these are all Weeha precision screwdrivers. I just like, I like the feel of the wee half screwdrivers, the precision set. Plus the weeder ones are like hell of expensive. Uh, for all I do, a couple of batteries, more blades. Yeah, that's pretty much it on that side.
Okay, so the reverse side of the bag. Right, uh, cheapo head torch. That's usually for attics, you know, you go into an attic space looking for cables. Um, run along the attic floor, yeah, this is what I use. Impact driver, this is a 10.8 volt DeWalt. Um, I think I've said in other videos, it's DeWalt tools I use for everything really. Um, this is a good little guy this. It's got the Weera wrap adapter as well on it. I've got, I think, four or five of these uh, for my impacts. They obviously carry the 18 volt impacts in my van. Um, I can't say enough about them, they're great. And this is great. And it's the DeWalt platform that I've got all the chargers, all the batteries uh, for DeWalt. That's why I stick with DeWalt. So good. Again, Weera Tool Check Plus. I think everybody needs to have one of these in their bags. They're, they're just it's such a versatile tool. Um, I mean, you can take that into a job and do, do a hell of a lot of, you know, small small jobs, take things apart, put things together, and that's, that's great. Um, there's loads of reviews on these on YouTube, if you have a look, uh, I'll come up against a review. Uh, another snap-off type knife, good for just quickly snapping off the blade and using it again if, if you need a sharp blade. The blades that accompany that. Okay, uh, spare nozzles for silicon tubes. Carry these in all my bags, as I've said in my other videos. Uh, you know your tube if it goes. Well, I won't explain again, but basically, take your old nozzle off, put this on, uh, and your your old sealant's good to go. That's just a spare Wego connector box, junction box. Um, I don't know if you've seen these. Well, you probably have seen these before if you're watching this, but um, it's an easy way to connect wires. Uh, safely and securely using the Wago connectors. I love these. I always, I always carry ones and at least one spare. They're always handy. Uh, plasterboard saw, which I don't use too much because I use my multi multi tool usually. I've got a Dewalt multi tool that just cuts into the wall from cutting out a dry lining box or whatever. But this does have its uses in certain situations. Uh, this. This one obviously, you have the actual blade for cutting the plasterboard and you've got the little file there, you know. You know, if, you, if you're letting in like me, you cut the, the thing out and the, the box doesn't fit. So you have to sort of file it away slightly just to get a nice tight fit. Um, that's actually quite handy. There's another handy tool here. It's a CK, uh, it's basically a hole punch. 6mm, 7mm and 8mm for putting into plasterboard. You can see the end there, it's, it's solid all the way through so if you need a quick 6mm hole in plasterboard, I don't know if you can see that, hold that up, hold up with that, beat it with a hammer, beat it again if you need 7mm and beat it again if you need 8mm, take it out and put your plug in, it's good to go, no drill required, uh, that's, that's handy. Old set of wire strippers. Just I don't know why I carry these. I think it's basically in case sometimes those automatic strippers can be a be temperamental in certain uh, thicknesses of cable. Um, so it's always good to have these. Uh, these are Nipex as well from donkeys years ago, but they've lasted for years. Uh, another grip it marksman. <laughs> Two of them in these bat in this bag. Probably seen these in other videos, but it's impact driver drills. Just uh, five, six, seven, and eight mil drill bits. They're multi-material drill bits, so they can go through masonry, wood, plasterboard, tile, and they fit an impact driver. So they're they're really handy. They're expensive, but they're handy to have in your bag. And just a quick small set of normal masonry bits from Dewalt. Um, they're always handy to have as well. Another voltage tester. 
I used this one for quite a long time, and I just, I don't know, I just don't seem to trust this one the same as the Fluke. Uh, but I keep it in the bag as a backup. Uh, my usual. Carpenter's rule. Certain situations for measuring, uh, I prefer a, a carpenter's rule. Um, I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> just a cheapo socket tester. Uh, you've all seen those. Just plug it in the socket, plug the socket on, see there's different codes here to tell you, tell you if there's any faults or if it's working correctly. It's a handy tool, actually. Um, tie wraps. Cheapo uh, multimeter leads in there. I don't do anything in uh, that de that in depth. Uh, I use a multimeter a lot, but it is handy now and again. A uh, little weeder stubby screwdriver. Um, this is handy. You know, I, I usually use the bits out of the tool check plus if I need any. Even if it's a small torque bit in a hard to reach area, I can. This fits fine in here and just. Is that? It's handy. It's the spare bit. It's a wee right impactor. Uh, it's a, just another bit for your impact driver. It's not there for a reason. It's just spare. So I just need it. inspection mirrors. Big one. A small one. Basically for looking and usually in plasterboard. To be honest, you you put it through the plasterboard, shine the torch in, and just have a look to see if you can see any cables or you know anything that pipes that you maybe. In the way, studs, and then you know, just a, a good mirror to have. A couple of sharpies hidden away in there, and that's pretty much it. So that's why I carry my Tech LC. Um, I honestly, I love this bag. I just love the size. Uh, it's not too big and it's not too small. Um, it's just the feel of it, you know, when you carry it as well, it just feels great. It's hard to explain, um, but if you get one of these, fill it with your, your tools. Um, and just lift it, put it over your shoulder, walk about with it. Um, it just feels, it feels good. Actually, it looks good. They all look good. The tech, the Vito tech bags look good, look professional. Um, I don't know what you dedicated Sparkies out there use. Um, I, I know there's a few guys use the LCs, um, but... To me, that's a, an ideal electrician's bag. This. Not so much for plumbing. Um, I personally I prefer the open tool for plumbing because they're heavier duty tools. But electrical, this is ideal. Um, yeah. What else can I say? Um, leave some comments. I don't know if you'll notice this video. I'm using a new mic. I'm getting right into this YouTube caper. Uh, Bought a crappy 20 quid mic off eBay. Uh, we'll see if it makes a difference uh, when I'm editing this. But hopefully, um, I quite like making these videos. Um, it'll be more interesting once I start showing you jobs and the type of things I do. But I think initially in this channel, I'll show you all the tools I've got and what I use. And then we'll progress more into the jobs I do. Some of the refurbishments, the renovations, they're quite interesting if you can fill them from the start. Uh, going to some right terrible places, you know, that have been tenanted for years and do them up to a half decent standard yeah, it's, it's interesting to me anyway <laughs> right guys thanks for watching uh, please subscribe like all the usual language that YouTubers use I don't know um, like, subscribe, comment uh, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video thank you